Hi, my name is Keith Mason. Well, you probably know me. I want to talk to you today about the Freedom to Marry Pledge. You know, one of the things I find to be true is that most Christians are kind of up in the air about if they should be supporting the right for, of gay marriage. But I want to address another reason why, at this point in time, it's really not for us to have a personal opinion on the matter. If you really look at the history of Christianity, there were many things that were predicted. Homosexuality was one of them. If we look at what we've done today, we have realigned many of the things that Christianity told us would happen. For example, some of the controversies in the Catholic Church are much more associated with the fact that they were forewarned that man would not be able to sustain himself without sex. Now look at that outcome. Now I want to attach this thought to where we're at today with homosexuality. Essentially, we have a group of people who love each other, certainly through no determination of their own. We've kind of got beyond that debate. But now we're telling them they can love each other, but they shouldn't love each other legally. Is that our right? 